Hi-Fi is changing thanks to the inclusion of these small Class D amplifiers from Fozzy, IEMA, Duke Audio, and the like. Now, the good news is these little Class D amps bring a lot of power to your system. The bad news is they often only ever allow you to connect one RCA input at a time. Now, I don't know about you, but I have multiple sources in my system that need to connect via RCA. That's a CD transport, a wireless streamer, a turntable, and yes, even a cassette deck. So only being able to connect one at a time is kind of a nuisance when I'm using these amplifiers. Luckily, I was at an estate sale recently and I found a tool for just five bucks that I can now connect to this amplifier, which upgrades the one RCA input to a total of three. Let me show you what that tool is next and how to connect it to your Class D amp. Now, the first thing people usually suggest with these Class D amplifiers is to add a preamp, which would allow you to connect multiple sources, something along the lines of this Shit Saga Plus. However, one of the other main jobs of a preamp is volume control. And as most of you know, on these small Class D amplifiers, you can control the volume directly on the amp. So there's really no reason for a traditional preamp. That's why I was excited when I found this stereo audio selector from Realistic at an estate sale. Now, I love going to estate sales, and the one thing that I always love looking through is the bin of cords that's always there, and it's always super cheap. This was $10, but I never go on the first day, so it was half off. I paid 5 bucks for this. These can be found on eBay for anywhere between $20 and $30, depending on shipping. Now, what this stereo audio selector is going to do is you simply flip this around and you're now going to connect your amplifier to this RCA input here, uh, output here on the audio selector. And that's going to give you the ability to connect three sources. Let me turn this little amplifier around and show you how to make this connection. You can see here that the output on the audio selector is connected via a pair of RCA cables to the RCA input here on the Class D amplifier. And now what you are able to do is instead of connecting your, let's say your CD transport directly to the RCA input on the amp, you can now connect it to auxiliary one. You could connect your wireless streamer via RCA to auxiliary two, and you could even connect your turntable with a small caveat, which I'll explain after this. You could connect it here as well. Now let me turn this around and then show you how this works when operating. Now this kind of goes without saying, but here you see your controls for the auxiliary. Now you'll notice on mine, there's some gunk here. And I believe the previous owner had a tape there explaining which of these inputs was for what source. So I think I said that my CD transport would be on auxiliary one and a streamer on two and a turntable on three. So once I've got my amp powered on and I want to listen to my CD transport, I just press the auxiliary one button and it will be sent through the amplifier. However, I can now just go to auxiliary two if I want to switch to my wireless streamer. And if I want to go to my turntable, I just switch auxiliary three, just going back and forth through those buttons, depending on which source I want to hear. Now, I know that's kind of obvious, but um, you know, I just wanted to point out that I now have the ability to connect three sources here to this amplifier. And yeah, the volume is still going to be handled right here on the amp. So this is a great way to take one RCA input on the rear and graduate this up to three. Now, any good old school audiophile is going to tell you anytime you insert more electronics into your audio chain, you're running the risk of distortion and noise being added in with your music. And I'll agree with that. However, I've yet to encounter any of those noise or distortion issues using this little selector switch with multiple Class D amplifiers that I've had and tested while running this YouTube channel. Uh, so always just a word of caution, but like I said, no issues here. Now, Radio Shack actually own Realistic, so they made a ton of these. You can find them on eBay. Just search Realistic Stereo Audio Selector, and you're, you may be hard-pressed to find it for five bucks like I did, but they're often on there for $19.99, free shipping, or even a little bit higher. Just depends on the seller. But when I scanned through uh, today, I saw plenty available. You can also buy some versions of these on Amazon. They're a lot more expensive these days, uh, being made brand new. And I have not ever used any of those, so I can't necessarily speak to them. 
but I will include some links in the description of this video in case you want to just easily jump on there and buy one on Amazon and have it in a couple days rather than waiting on something from eBay. But this has been a fun little toy for me to be able to throw it into my system and add on multiple sources with my Class D amplifier. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you're gonna use one of these with a turntable, there's still a caveat, and that's gonna revolve around making sure you've got the proper preamp connected or switched on with your turntable in order to hear this properly through your Class D amplifier. If you'd like more information on how to make that connection, I made a video showing how to connect a turntable to a Class D amplifier in which a lot of those same connections apply. You're just gonna be connecting it to the switch instead of directly to the amplifier. If you're interested in watching that video, you can do so by clicking here.